What's going on, Airboat Gang, man? I, man, you guys have missed so much because I've been too god dang busy to get into there and get on the computer and edit a video. I know you guys have missed me and I missed y'all too, man. So, anyways, thank you for watching. You guys are watching YCF. Let's get into it, y'all. All right, y'all. So, last night, uh, before it got too dark, I got the fenders cut off and the bunks. And he is running on some borrowed time. So, uh, three things I gotta do. Never seen an axle like this. Uh, you can see it's a torsion axle, but they uh, bolted it. And, anyways, these tires are wearing funny. Reason your tires wear funny, most likely on trailers, is a couple reasons. One is low tire pressure, two is your axles botched or crooked those are kind of really what or wheel bearing or something but majority of the reasons that a trailer's tires wear funny are air pressure and if your axles bent or crooked um, trailer unsquare but as of right now I have to check this trailer for square the trailer square these tires are completely completely out um and i go off the rim to the edge of the trailer from the front and the back and there's almost three quarters of an inch there and i think it's almost an inch on that side so i have to check the trailer for square if the trailer square then that's how i will try to realign these when i stretch it out um if anything we're not definitely going to make it better than what it is now because uh, you can see it's just eating those tires real bad um so i'm gonna do my best and i got a lot of figuring to do but we're gonna get this thing figured out we got the axle or pieces of axles moved out and re-welded where we wanted them the trailer is pretty pretty square so that it's due to the fact that it's pretty square so they used to bolt all up in here uh, guys and i'm sure over time hitting all the bumps in the road and having weight on this trailer and potholes and just driving being that there was bolts you know that they got the holes probably got wallered out a little bit and that's why the tires shifted so bad or whoever put them on just didn't do a good job those are the two things that can be uh being as the tires are the condition they are I checked the trailer for square. So how I came up with an idea to get the tire straight was to go off. So what I did guys, I went to the rim and pulled across. I don't know if you can see it, but it's seven and a quarter. And then the same thing on the back here to the rim, seven and a quarter. And that's how I figured, if anything, guys, it's gonna be way better than what it was. You guys, if I would build the trailer, um, it'd all be squared up and every, and I wouldn't use those axles like that. Yes, a torsion axle is pretty cool, but I would use a solid one that went all the way across. So I knew for sure that it's squared and straight. Uh, but, but anyways, if trailers swap multiple hands and a lot of those hands have welders and tools and stuff uh, they get pretty jerry-rigged over time so sometimes when you get a trailer you gotta really do some stuff to make it right so when you buy a used trailer always check the tires and your bearings and all that stuff but tires are a big sign of if the axle straight most of the time but anyways this is how much wider we had to make it for the haul. Um, you can see she's sticking out quite a bit. She had to come out three and a half inches each side. Uh, well, actually three and three quarters um, to make up for the 89 inches we need for that haul. Um, so now I've got to cut these off and make new ones that come out on both sides. 
all right y'all so uh i got everything cut off and grounded and they put the metal conduit inside the channel yeah that's it's, it's cool but i don't have the same size angle and cutting that out and yeah, that's just a pain in the butt so how i'm gonna do this without having to mess that angle i made plates um these right here pretty heavy duty plates i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna bypass all that stuff well all right y'all <clears throat> sorry but i lost my gopro for a couple days and it was right on the front of the boat i'm tarted sometimes y'all but uh this is where we've got with it we're almost done close not done yet but close so uh normally i only put two boards on the trailers because that's the best way to do it you space them out correctly and you only use two but he had three on here he wanted three back also i would have had to cut all these brackets that they had in there out and clean it all up with the grinder and all that stuff so instead we just went with putting them right back in i had to cut the whole tongue out of this thing um that these two pieces here in the center are the old tongue um i had to cut it off she's right here uh what anyways so we did not know well i didn't know no idea that this trailer was only for a 10 foot boat never he just said we had to widen it so after i widened it i put the boat on it for my placement of my bunks and noticed that we still got two foot hanging off the back of this thing and it's on the stopper so i couldn't just not I, I couldn't just move this forward because the tongue was like literally right here so um we put a whole new one on there got a new winch got a new jack and a new tongue um i had that material in the shop uh vern if you watch some of the older videos vern is in a few of them but uh he brought us some sheet metal from the shop um and that's how i wrap this kind of like i did that one over there um i don't know if you've seen that yet but anyways um wrapped it and since it's it was galvanized metal we went ahead and painted it um it's not aluminum we had to put some tabs in the back because when i rounded the wood back here um the old holes were how they had it they had them squared and I like to round them like this. It's just, it makes it better. So uh, I had to get the holes further back because of this. And for that reason, I welded in the new tabs. Uh, we ran the boards up further, obviously, because um, we had to get new boards because the old ones ended here. By the time we moved the stopper up, the step in the hall would have fell off the wood and the boat would have been stuck on the trailer. So we had to get new wood. So I ran them out, which you guys will see when I get it back together. I just welded in those pieces of angle right there for those to bolt to because they obviously 45 or not 45. It's way more drastic. Anyways, but by the time that goes up there, it'll have to have two more bolts in there to hold it good and stout. <clears throat> but anyways, guys, we got to paint this stuff and move our wood back up to this piece right here drill it and bolt it i'm afraid when i because i had to cut this back i'm afraid when i weld that back on there it's going to melt the wires and those wires are in bad shape so i'm going to try to talk them into just getting new wires and i'm going to do something different if i can talk them into that right in that front area with that conduit so this is where we're at with it the other piece of wood also guys i stained the wood um like i did on that trailer at first i thought it might have been a bad idea but actually when even in the heat of the day the poly hits it and it slides real good but he's going to put carpet over it i just did it to 
uh, help protect the wood and make the wood last longer. Um, and on that trailer, which, <clears throat> and on that trailer, which I don't think you guys have seen yet, we're gonna do Trex board on that and turn it upside down. So I'm gonna get back to finishing this and uh, we will be back. All right, y'all, trailer's done for the most part. All it's gotta do is rewire it and mount the lights back on. But, uh, turned out pretty sharp, you guys. For what this thing was to what it is now, big difference. Um, super big difference. It sucks it's at nighttime and you guys can't really see it that well. Um, I advise that he put some rims on this thing like I got on my boat. Some really cool, nice rims you can get on eBay and Amazon for... Well, back in the day when Trump was in office, I got mine for like 150 for the set of rims. Um, and they're pretty fancy, but put some nice rims on there. Um, I put that carpet on there just to not scratch the boat. It's not done right. I didn't have enough to do it right. I just put it on there so it didn't scratch the side of the hall that I just painted, you know, on the wood. So just about everything on this trailer has just about been rebuilt um, for the most part. I mean, the original structure in here is you know the same except for we added all that in there for strength I cut out the whole entire tongue and redid it from there forward uh, it was this thin stuff actually I cut what was left of the tongue out and put it in to the back there for the brace it was good thick stuff but it was just smaller tubing that is two by three quarter inch that I put in there um, but for the most part guys it's done and it looks really good again i just have to hook the lights back up mount the tag and we'll rewire it but they got conduit ran in the side as you guys already know for the wires to go into so i just have to hook the new wire up to the old stuff and pull it into the back and rerun it and hook it to the lights which he also needs new lights so it's almost done working on it still but it, it looks amazing to what it did look all right, y'all. Well, I thought this trailer would be done today. And it would be if it wasn't for these wheel bearings. Because I told them I'd check the wheel bearings because they were loose when I pulled the trailer up originally and I shook the wheels. Wheel bearings were loose. So I expected it just needed tightened. Well, when I opened up the wheel to pull off the hub, they were all eaten up but it did not get into the spindle yet. So that's perfect. Uh, the other side was not busted out, but they were shot all wallered around. They were about to be in the same condition as those. So we're gonna go ahead and replace them on there. Um, I had a set of lights that I was gonna use on my trailer and I put them on here, but we got the thick gauge, heavy duty wire. Um, LEDs so they're just dusty from sitting in the shop I also remounted the lights the lights used to be here but with these pieces here and being totally different than they had it set up when they welded these for the lights on the first place on the other setup before we cut everything off and changed it anyways the lights would not work there <clears throat> so I had to make new tabs put the lights there I made a tab here at an angle for his license plate the way he had it before was not legal. He had his license plate up here, his light down here. No, the white light did not shine the tag, so he had no tag light, so that was illegal. But how we got it now, the white light under there will definitely illuminate the tag, and now he's legal. All right, y'all, so I just did the paint touch up, so all I gotta do in the morning is the wheel bearings, and this sucker's done. Um, you can see from here a piece of conduit in the back has been painted the other needs have been painted painted the conduit up there by the where i really couldn't get with a really fine brush painted around my ground bolt and everything else she's done except for the wheel bearings so whew. 
well y'all that wraps up the video man so thank you guys for watching if you guys ain't subscribed and you're watching the videos and you like it man smash that button it is 100 percent free doesn't cost you a dime to subscribe so anyways no further ado remember as always guys i love you jesus loves you thank you for watching and see ya